much fanfare here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the heavyweight championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon looking to build on his legacy. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC heavyweight championship title defense. John Jones, the man many of these fight fans have come out to see. same thing and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy there's no wasted movements everything he does he does with a purpose he goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish and he gets it done Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man his grappling his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedown right away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones! Now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight. one. Ready. Good. So here's the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Jones. In nearly every fight, he's going to have a massive reach advantage. So we'll see what he chooses to do here in the early going, if he leans on the grappling or the wrestling. But that reach is a very powerful thing in modern-day mixed martial arts. It's one thing to have a reach advantage. It's another thing to use it as masterfully as John Jones has done in the past. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, beautiful counter on the jab after blocking the strike. Nice job turning defense into offense for the longer fight. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones' call to call. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. Oh, a nice land there by Johnny Bones. Mike Winklejohn told me before the fight, you haven't seen 30% of what John Jones does in the gym and starting to show you some of those new wrinkles here tonight. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Sad 
advantageous spot. He set it up beautifully. Let's see if he can now take full advantage of it. Yeah, he's in half guard here. Under three minutes now to go on the round. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Here's the kick blocked by Jones. Just over two minutes, round one. Jones gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there disguising his entry. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Shots, you never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling start. All right, so John Jones having his way with an opponent, as we have come to expect in the octagon. He's got the long-range weaponry going tonight. I mean, it's the striking of Jones, his ability to set traps, and his ability to make you fight his fight at his range. When you can't close the distance on Jones, you will have problems. That's exactly what's happening with his opponent tonight. He has not been able to get close enough to find success. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. Final seconds of the round. There's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and fight? being hopeful Ready. that he can get it back together Ready. before the start of the next round. All right, round two. All right, this should be good as our next round gets underway. We nearly had a knockout in the previous round, but the corner seems to think they have their fighter back in the game. It felt fun watching such an exciting moment, but it is a testament to this fighter and the toughness and the durability that he possesses that he's still here right now with an opportunity still to win the fight. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Man, both fighters realizing a lot of success early. Back and forth we go. Try to establish that jab. Let's go, let's go. Keep that footwork going. Let's go. Misses with the left hook. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, nice level change. Mm, that was nice. Lee gets. 
gets up, he is back on the feet here. Hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones. And he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight, DC. And you have to have to because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title right. Fighters back to their feet here. Good body shot. Oh, nice job there defensively to block that knee attempt. Good work by Lee. All right, so some fatigue striking, I guess you would call it here. He is landing, but just not inflicting much damage because his stamina is on low. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. I mean, you land one, I land one. What a start. Chip, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Under two minutes to go. Oh, massive diving punch, plus to the head. And he is back up to his feet. Jones gets hit with a kick. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's lead the dance. This is crazy. One minute to go in round two. One minute left. Nice kick. Oh, he lands a huge right hand. Seconds to go round two. All right, so the crowd continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. Ten minutes in the can. Right. Can't take too many of those strikes. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. He's got a good leg kick. There it is. Right back on those leg kicks. Oh, nice little right hook there. Oh, 
Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. It got checked. Unable to connect there. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Oh, nice foot sweep. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Making all these shots count. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Continues to apply pressure here at half guard. All right, champ, now we're starting to see some bruising on that thigh. Pretty good job attacking that area tonight. I mean, this guy is digging his shin into hit the thigh. What a tremendous performance by this guy. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Jones's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Oh, high kick. Beautiful entry and finish on that takedown. Look for him to try to advance now to get to a dominant position. Jones has got him in a crucifix. Going to work from the top now. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Jones. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you got to like the output on display here. Oh, nice defense there with the block. Bruised on that right calf now, so that'll bear watching as this fight continues. Low kicks definitely having an effect in this fight. Side kick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. There's the single. Jones is in half goal. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. His misses are in the Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage and. Neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fu no, no, no. He's hurt bad. Look, is there again? I mean, how about those last five minutes? Are you kidding me? All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much, and if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. You ready to fight? 
Ready. Do All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Nice right hand. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. Well, he's taking too many of these shots up top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting. He's being reactive. you got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Oh, he's got the single pattern locked in the clinch now. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. And cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Keeping him honest with the jab. That was a beautiful head kick. Oh, I like that kick there. Just out of range with that left hook. Jones gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Just over three minutes now to go. Beautiful transition. He gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there, and not gonna help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. Punch lands. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Hands on your face. All right, so you see some redness on that calf. Maybe he's starting to slow down a little bit. It looks like he is. It's starting to really hurt him. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Just unable to quite find that range. Hands up. Oh! Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Where are those kicks at? Throwing that jab, no good. Is that, that strike maybe open up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Under a minute to go in round four. Oh, he gets the kick out late in the round here. That could affect the judging. Back up again, so the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Oh, beautiful knee by Jones. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is gonna start to drive knees over and over. You gotta be careful here, you gotta move. Fifteen seconds.
20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, buddy, take a seat. That was a good round, but I need you to be a little bit more accurate this time. I need you to land those kicks this round. Start mixing up your attacks. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Our right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent, lifted a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Nice defense there. Nice crack there. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, nice. Takedown, well played. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Yep, got to be very careful there. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Jones' shot is blocked. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Stay on that gun for me. Pretty good position here with a single collar in the clinch. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. That's good defense to block that punch. Good work, guys. Come on. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Jones. Under two minutes to decide this one now. Throws that deep and it lands. Jones is punched to the body. That one is blocked. Now some separation from his clutch position. Oh, and he caught the kick. He's taking aim at that cut right now, and they might even have to call in a ringside position. Smart decision by the fighter to continue to attack that compromised area. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Swing and a big miss by Johnny Bone. One minute to go in the fight. Go after the cut. End this fight. End it. Oh, oh he oh, has his head kicked out. We'll see if he can finish. He's almost out there. Let's go. Keep the pressure. 
Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pin. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Landed that one. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Another big to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. Official ladies and gentlemen, now in five the rounds, has. we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 48-47, and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded. This just might have been Bruce Lee's best performance inside the octagon.